Ladies and gentlemen, another midweek round is upon us, and it's very, very interesting. Some of these games, just as all the other rounds, fairly short rounds as well for round 15. A lot of teams do have their buys this week, and every single game is getting relatively closer towards the end, and finals 40 is coming soon. So let's go through all of round 15 right now. What's up, everybody? It's the Aiden Sports Show. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be the AFL Round 15 predictions and tips where we go through all of the games in Round 15 and give my opinions on who I think will win each sing each and every single game. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on. Let me know in the comments below if your team is going to win in this week of the AFL, this round of the AFL, and how much do you think your team will win by? In the end, a bunch of teams do have their buys, so your team could potentially not even be playing this week. However, there are a decent amount of teams that are playing. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where a lot of these teams go, and a lot of teams, if they do manage to win, will solidify their places within the eight and also solidify their places in the entire season as a whole. So let's get into the first game of this video, which will be Hawthorne versus the Adelaide Crows. Now... Hawthorne was a team that in the last game against Essendon was <clears throat> were up for at least the first half and then in the second half Essendon performed one of the most miraculous comebacks this season in the AFL and they actually beat them convincingly in the end Essendon uh, absolutely took over uh, Adelaide on the other hand they they haven't been too poor, too bad but in the end they're still winless and it looks like they could go through this entire season winless. But this is one of those games where you expect that Adelaide will give everything that they have because this is definitely a winnable game for the Crows. Uh, overall, I do see this being a Hawthorne game. I'm very, very surprised, by the way, that this is a Hawthorne home game at the Adelaide Oval. That's basically not a home game. And you're going to see a lot more Adelaide fans probably there. So... Uh, I don't think anyone's going to be too upset about that. I mean, I don't think any of these teams are going to get far, far this season. So uh, it's it's not the end of the world, but it is very interesting. I am still going to back the Hawks, though. Uh, overall, I just think they are the better team, and I do think they are in a little bit better form. If they could, they should have beat Essendon, and they didn't. But besides that, they they had they have their moments, Hawthorne, and I think this one they're going to have to try and give it everything they have to win. I don't think they want to be the team that loses to Adelaide. I don't think any team really wants that to be the case. And Adelaide are on their way to being one of the worst AFL teams in history when it comes to wins and losses. Uh, they could be one of the many, one of the few teams, if there are any teams, to not win a game. So. Yeah, when I, I'll do my research on that and I'll get back to you on that one if Adelaide ends up losing this game. Next up, we've got the West Coast Eagles versus the Essendon Bombers. It is going to be at the Gabba. West Coast um, played okay against Richmond and arguably w the scoreline was not really... Um, not really fair on West Coast, I guess you could say, because they did play all right. However, obviously, Richmond did look like the better side, and I think they are the better side overall. Essendon, a miraculous comeback. They do have more players coming back for them. Essendon are going to hopefully get into form when it comes to the latter part of the season with a lot of players coming back. They should be very, very good in this game. This game is going to be a lot closer than people expect, at least in the way that I see it, because even though Essendon are relatively low on the ladder, they still have the opportunity to make the eight because again um after this round if they if they do manage to win they will be one of the favorites so overall i am going to back west coast here again west coast are the better team west coast are in better form and west coast should comfortably win this game but this could be a very very tight affair for essendon when their players come back they're a much healthier side they're a much better side and um a anything can happen in the AFL, and this is definitely one of those games where it's not the, it's not a foregone conclusion. Next game we've got the Richmond Tigers versus Fremantle. This one was fairly straightforward for me. I've gone and I've backed the Tigers. Have been in such amazing form, and I don't see this being any different. I do see them being comfortable winners over twenty points probably. Um, they they are the very good favourites for this game, and I think in this retrospect you have to pick the favourites for the win. And um, look, Fremantle have been in good form as well. 
Yes, it was a poor performance against the Giants, and I think everybody would agree with that. But with Richmond, and especially with Fremantle as well, uh, this just seems like a big mismatch in my opinion. You have two sides on different sides of the ladder, two different aspirations. And I don't see this going very well for Fremantle at all. But again, that could definitely be one. Well, you never know. When Fremantle turns it on, it could be a very close game. Next game, we've got the Sydney Swans versus Melbourne in a very, very, very important round for Melbourne because if they can win this game, they will make themselves the most likely team to make the eight with a lot of teams having buys this week that are going to match up with them. So overall, this is a Sydney home game and I do think Sydney will give us a little bit of problems, but I think Melbourne, after very, very good form last week beating the Saints, very, very unpredictable that game and it was a very crucial victory. I do see Melbourne comfortably winning this game as well. We've seen what it's like when we versed North Melbourne and Adelaide, and I don't think Sydney are too far off from those two teams. So I don't see Melbourne having too many issues in this game. Again, inconsistencies really do shape what Melbourne are about. They're seven and six. They've beaten quality sides now, and they've lost the poor sides as well. So uh, this is very up in the air, but I still will back the Demons. They are well and truly the comfortable favorites. And in my opinion, I do this see I do see this being a very comfortable round for Melbourne overall. I think their midfield will absolutely run rampage over the Sydney Swans. Next up, and probably the toughest game to call of the episode, we've got the GWS Giants versus Carlton. Two teams that almost have their season on the line. Now, GWS are ninth, I believe, and they're really, really uh, comfortable in their positioning if they win this game they could make the eight depending on what happens with the melbourne game and uh carlton are looking very very likely that they're not going to make the eight this year even if they do win this game but they could use this game as motivation because i think they'll take any percentage than no percentage so carlton this is a must win game as it is for the giants so it is a very good game on our hands today uh, if we look at last week's performances, GWS absolutely run rampage over the Fremantle Dockers. Uh, they, they looked a class above the competition in that round, and they got my round winners of the week. So they, they, they clearly did have a very standout performance in round 14. Carlton on the receiving end of a very brutal second half loss to Collingwood, which ended up being a loss overall. Carlton were the better team in the first half, but in the second half, they just could not manage to get on the scoreboard and they were goalless for the second half. And that momentum could very well carry on. I'm sorry to say Carlton fans, because I've been picking your team a lot recently. I will back the Giants in this game. I think the Giants will win this game. And I think that their season is probably on the line a little bit more because I feel like even if Carlton do win this game, there's still a very small chance of them getting into the eight so I, I'm hoping for a good game here I feel like these two uh, teams will have a good game I feel like they've had good games before they will have good games again I'm hoping this will be a very close affair they're two quality size exciting teams and uh, you only hope for the best to be honest with this type of game man you, you want to watch this one last but not least we've got the Brisbane Lions versus the Collingwood Magpies. Now, again, this is another game that is not a foregone conclusion. One thing that I wasn't really aware of with the Carlton and Collingwood game that I am a little bit aware of now is that Collingwood has a little bit of players returning in their season and into their uh, team and making them overall a better team. So it's going to be very interesting to see where Carlton... At, well, sorry, where Collingwood um, ends up being in this game. Now, obviously, the favourites are the Brisbane Lions, but I have to admit that Collingwood do have a very good chance to win this game. And if they win this game, they've saved their season over a certain disaster. And uh, I think that's exactly what their mindset is. I don't think this is a must-win game for Collingwood because in the end... Even if they had their full team, this was going to be a tough game. But we've seen Brisbane on other on majority of their games. There's been a few games where Brisbane have not lived up to the expectations. There's been games where Brisbane are arguably the worst of team, but they still manage to pick up victories. And I think with Brisbane, there is a good conversation where we could say that this is definitely a game that they could lose. Overall, I don't think anybody would be too upset if I backed Brisbane here. So I am going to back Brisbane. Again, I've gone with a lot of the safer options here. I don't think there's many unpredictabilities that could happen in this round. But definitely Essendon could beat West Coast. Definitely Collingwood could beat Brisbane. Definitely Carlton could beat the Giants. Um, but overall, 
you expect a lot of the teams that were coming into this round favorites to walk out as victors and maybe that's how this round will go and again as although I did pick the Lions, I would not be surprised in the slightest if Collingwood do win this game because I think they they probably sh they probably have a fair chance to do it, and we'll see where that goes. Very very interesting games on our hands. That is going to be the end of the video. So the round buys for round 15 will be the Gold Coast Suns, North Melbourne. Port Adelaide Power, the Western Bulldogs, Geelong, and St Kilda. So. This is why, as I was speaking about Melbourne, the games are so important because we are playing basically our game in hand against a lot of teams this round against the Swans, and we are already eighth. And if we can get our way into seventh, then um, it's going to be very, very important. Uh, I I'm not going to be biased. I do think Sydney will give us a little bit of problems, and there's still a comfortable chance that Melbourne could slip up. But I do, I am fav I am very, very um, excited about this round and hopefully the positive things that I think will come out of it will. And overall, that is going to be the end of the round 15 tips. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on. Uh, I'll see you guys in another video. AFL round 15 results video will come out soon because this is a very short round. And also the round 16 tips will come very soon as well. Have a wonderful day. Take care and peace.